This is the real Tom Rose, and I, I love this trick they've got us going here. They say, the figure above is a right triangle, and what is the value of 9 plus x squared? <laughs> Total non sequitur. Doesn't there's apparent there's no apparent relation between the two the information they gave you and the question they're asking. Uh, so what they're basically saying is, do something. Uh, there's no way for you to know what, but do something to that triangle and generate an equation which hopefully will indicate something about nine plus x squared. So what are we doing now here? I guess we're searching. Uh, searching a database of formulas that we know about triangles that will somehow combine the three values that we've got. And then we're just taking it on faith that that's going to simplify to 9 plus x squared. And that's all that we can do. Sometimes you just got to go for it. So the only formula I can think of really that makes sense here is Pythagorean theorem. This is sort of like the granddaddy of all geometry theorems. And it basically goes like this, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where we're dealing with, a. this is only for right triangles, and it's only when c is the long side. So let's call this a, this b, and this c. And let's plug in and see what happens. So now we're, now we're in the, uh, the faith-based part of our of our problem solving process. So we're gonna go three minus x squared plus three plus x squared equals 12 squared, which is 144. I'll show the intermediate step. Now let's go ahead and do some simplification on this. Um, these I'm gonna have to foil. Uh, 3 minus x times 3 minus x plus 3 plus x times 3 plus x. I, tip I wouldn't typically write all this out. I'm going to do it for demonstration purposes. FOIL is an acronym which stands for first, outside, inside, last. And it's the order we multiply when we're dealing with, uh, when we're multiplying two binomials by each other. So let's do first is 9, outside minus 3x inside minus 3x last plus x squared. And I'm going to do it again, only with plus x. So this is going to be 9 plus 3x plus 3x plus x squared equals 144. And some really interesting things are happening here. We've got minus 3x plus 3x, minus 3x plus 3x, we're canceling. And what have we got? Oh, it's starting to get kind of interesting here. We've got 9 plus x squared twice. 9 plus x squared plus 9 plus x squared equals 144. And we're going to simplify this to 2 times 9 plus x squared equals 144. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And you get 9 plus x squared equals 72. All right. So it, the faith technique worked. And it helped that we knew we were searching for 9 plus x squared, which starts to become apparent around about this step here, that that's where that's going to come from to give you the answer.